Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to share with you some of my favorites. Something that was just okay, it served a purpose, but I don't know if I would repurchase, and I do have some fails this time. My very favorite video to film is what I've been enjoying recently. And I tell you, there's a real good chance if I've enjoyed it in May, April, whatever, I'm still enjoying it. And if something turns out that I don't like it like I did, I go back to that video and I'll make a notation that I really haven't had to do that much at all. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have two lip products and I'm very, it was very excited about finding the lip color that I have on today. For I don't know how many years, before I went cruelty free, Lancome was one of my very favorite brands. And they had a shade of lip gloss called Molten and I've kept it for reference all this time. And I haven't used this, oh, I know in six years. So when I quit finding them in Dillard's when they didn't have them anymore, I looked on eBay, I looked on Amazon, and I found a bunch of them on, on eBay. And what I like about this shade is it is kind of the perfect color that it doesn't matter what you're wearing. It always works. So I always would have a molten in my, in my purse or in my pocket. Well, it's taken six years for me to find this color, and it's kind of a brownish burgundy, but it doesn't, it's not too cool, and it's definitely not warm. And this is a Milani lipstick in the shade Nylon. Well, I had, last year I bought, when they first came out, the Tarte Maracuja Lip Gloss, whatever, I can't remember the name of it, but the first shade I bought was Mauve, and I'll put a picture in here what Mauve looks like. I absolutely love everything about it. You can tell on the bottom what color you're looking for, which I love that. I liked it so well, I went back and I bought two more shades. The next one is Strawberry, and I'll put a picture in. Love it, love the way they feel, and uh, can't say enough good things about it. I bought Strawberry and Raspberry at the same time. So I've had these a few months, but I absolutely love them. I don't need a lip liner. I it, They stay on better than what you expect. It really kind of surprised me how long they would stay. Now this from Milani, I've really never put it to the test, but it, it has a decent amount of longevity and it's something that you don't have to put on with the mirror. And, and I like that. So those were some of my favorites and that's all the makeup favorites I have. My friend Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats was, uh, is always telling me what she has made in the air fryer. And we bought one of those Ninja Foodie Ovens at Tilt Up. I didn't really like air frying in it because you know I'm a slacker and it was really hard to clean the little, anyway, I use it for other things, but I didn't like it for air frying. And I asked her what brand she liked and she said Secura. So I went online and looked at the Secure website, I looked at Amazon website, and I found it for right about $60 on Amazon. That was the best price I could find. I'm gonna hold this up in front of my face because it is large. It's the 6.3 quart air fryer. And I just brought this part in. So here it is from the side view, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the basket out. It has a little thing you push, and your basket comes out, and that's how big it is. And it has holes on the bottom, and air vents on the side. And I'm not kidding you, I loved it. I loved it so much I got tired of cleaning it. So I went to Amazon and I looked for some parchment paper and I found some that I really like. The first thing I ordered, I had got 150 items for I think about $11. I got 100 of these that fit real nicely in the bottom and I got 50 of these that also, they fit very nicely in the bottom, and it doesn't leak, and my food was excellent. I've cooked wings in here, I've done eggs, I've done, I've done chicken, baked potatoes, I've, I've done quite a bit, but one thing I really noticed, I'm not like a big french fry fan. Jim wanted a barbecue from somewhere, and it came with fries, so I brought those home, and I put them in here, and I put them on for like three minutes, and they just crisp up really nice and they really do well. I like the Domino's gluten-free crust pizza. I warm it up in here. It may take, it takes longer than a microwave, but it sure is worth it. When you buy something, a lot of times you'll get suggestions and they suggested this. And this is the largest one. And it is a 6.3, fits right in here. 
and it has little tabs to help it pull up. I can fit four good size wings and then I just, after they're cooked, I just let them kind of sit for a minute and then I can lift this out with the tabs and I haven't burned myself, which is a miracle. And I'm just really enjoying it. So I want to thank Kathy for encouraging me to buy this one. It is large, but it works. The important thing about those paper, the parchment paper, is you don't want to have, you want to have enough food to hold it down because you don't want it to fly up and hit the burner on top, the air fryer. But I've been real careful, like I'll put baked potatoes on that little piece of paper. And sometimes, I'll, I mean, I'll use them again. I don't like, I'm not like super tight at all, but I will use them again from time to time. A good thing is I got my roots touched up and I got two inches uh, trimmed from my hair. And she really was impressed with how much thicker my hair has gotten. And I do still derma roll and I still am using the two products. She said I had very little gray still. I'm, I get silver right here and right there and a few right there, but I never try to, I never cover up on the top. And it had been almost four months since I'd had my roots touched up. And I used to do those all the time and I dreaded it every time, and I thought, you know what, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm gonna go once every three months and have someone t touch up my roots. On the Revital Ash Hair Enhancer, I'm right now at 205 pumps, and I have that much left, and I will let you know how many pumps are in here, because what I'm using now is one pump right here every day. And then I'll decide I'm probably gonna buy it again because it really has worked. And this is the Color Wow Grande hair. And it has helped, but I don't notice it as much because it's on the side where I don't part my hair. But I've had several viewers tell me that they bought this and they really liked it. And I've been using this on my, my part over here since January 1st, 2022. And I think, I don't know that I've really, I may have missed a day, but I don't think I've really missed much. I think I went back in and did it later because I do that right before I leave the bathroom in the morning. I stop right there and I do my two pumps of two different things. I did order and everything I talk about, I pay for. And, and I will specifically tell you, the only person right now that I'm accepting anything from is BK Beauty because I've really liked everything that she's had. But I mean, I get all the emails from Lily Silk and I thought, well, I'm gonna order a Lily Silk pillowcase and just see if it's worth the difference in price. It's excellent, it's, it is, the fabric is very nice, the zipper is nice, but it is not any nicer than another one I ordered some time ago or any of them. So I, um, you know, I like real silk pillowcases and I have since before I started watching YouTube videos. Satin pillowcases will help with hair, but pillowcases made of real silk, they don't draw anything from your skin or from your hair and um, I just really like them. So I w always wondered about the Lily Silk and I bought one and they're good but not any better than any of the ones I've ever purchased before. Last month I did find the perfect pair of underwear. I'm not going to show them. I will put a picture in. I have ordered several pair but I've only been wearing three pairs just because I want to wash and I've been hanging them to dry. I haven't been drying them in the dryer and normally I do. I just thought, well, I'll see if they last any better this way. But I'm very pleased with them and that just makes me happy. So therefore it's a beauty item. Bar from Built Bar, they are now available in Built Bars in boxes of 12 at Costco and Sam's, I believe. They have, a, they have limited flavors, but that way people can buy them, you know, off the shelf which is good if you want to try them and not order them. They've come out with new Built Puff flavors, the coconut brownie, mud pie, and brownie batter. I love them all. They're all high in protein, kind of 150, 160 calories, and the carbs are a good amount of carbs for me, not too much, and, and I just really enjoy them. I do want to mention something about the delivery. When they arrive, they arrive in an insulated bag in a box and they're on my front porch. I haven't had trouble with melting at all, but if you live somewhere where your package is going to be in the sun for quite some time before you can get it, it may not be the best time of year to order. I just bring them in the house and I don't even put them in the refrigerator. I kind of like them at room temperature, but I do keep some in my fridge that 
I'm kind of like stocked up on them. I don't enjoy shopping, never have liked it. I go to the grocery store, get what I need, and I've been a catalog shopper, an online shopper, but I was looking for something and I had to see them before I could buy them. And I went into our family dollar and I'm thrilled to death that I bought 20 cheap, cheap washcloths. I picked up 10 and I, I can't remember how much they were. They may have been $4, $10 for $4, and I got so excited because I saw some $20 for $4. But for me, I love the coarseness of cheap washcloths. That's what I've used all my adult life. When I got married, I remember people buying, like, you know how they do, the really nice towels and, the hand, you know, all that stuff in the washcloths. And the first time I used that washcloth, I thought, huh, what's wrong? It, it, it didn't feel right. So I bought my cheap washcloths and have used them ever since. And I've got Jim liking them now too, but I got 20 of them and, and they last a long time. They didn't have them in solid white, but multicolored, there were some white ones in there. Okay, this is my just okay. If you've watched me for a while, you know I had a burgundy leather chair in here. So after Jim's surgery, I decided to move it out and he didn't like the feel of real leather is a little bit hard to get used to, I think, it, because sometimes in the winter it feels a little cold, in the summer it, may, it feels warm. So I ordered this, and I'll show you what it looks like. It is a cover for a recliner. It is okay. I'm going to show you what it looks like after he's set in it. I would probably, I don't know, I would probably buy it again. It may work better if it is not leather. It, the grippers may hold better, but it is serving its purpose. It's making it comfortable for Jim. That is my, it's just okay. But it does, like I said, it does serve a purpose. And this is the biggest fail that I have ever had. You may have them, you may like them. But I was watching this commercial and they were talking about flavored water. And I drink coffee and I drink tap water. I don't buy water, I, d I just don't. But it sounded so good, and I will link the commercial that made me purchase this. And it was just in the first few lines of the commercial. And if you don't know how to find anything in the in the show more section, if you just look for this video at the at the three minute and fifty seven mark, I will I explain to you how you can look in the show more section in, using a computer or a mobile device. Well, I couldn't wait to get this. This is Hint Water. I ordered a case of 36, no shipping and handling, and I, I chose, you know, you could do the combination. I got blackberry, watermelon, and pineapple. Every time, I mean, I will drink them, and, but it's like one of those things, every time I take a sip, I'm disappointed. Because in the commercial, they say, I can't believe my water tastes fresher than a, like a blackberry cobbler. The commercial gets kind of gross after that because they lick each other's face. But anyway, but I thought, oh, I'm going to order that water and it's going to be so good. And I put it in the refrigerator and I drink, I drink one a day. And Jim said he'd help me get rid of them, but I was so disappointed. I don't know if you've ever done that before. Like you think you've got iced tea in your glass and you take a sip and it's water, it's kind of that kind of disappointment every time I take a sip. So I won't be buying any more Hint water. The other fail for me is I believe that IT Cosmetics is going to, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I'll tell you why I think I know. I don't think they're gonna be making the Miracle Water, the Under Eye Eye Cream, or the Secret Sauce because it is out of stock on their website and it's going for a high price on eBay and on Amazon. If you start seeing there's low supply or of a product that you really like, check eBay and Amazon because if it's discontinued, it will be very expensive to get. I have one backup of my IT Miracle Water and one of my under eye eye cream, and I'm gonna be trying some other things. I'll be buying them and seeing what I like. I'll continue using what I have, but I want to know what I want to use when I'm done with it. What's interesting about the It Miracle Water, Emily Noel, 83, is 30 years younger than me. She loves it, and here I am, almost 69, and I love it, and she's 38, 39, anyway, but I loved it. I haven't been watching a lot of television. On my DVR, I had recorded American Idol, I had recorded Survivor, 
This Is Us, and I got all those seasons finished up, and I, I enjoy those. I found a really interesting uh, channel. It's called Windy City Rehab, and this woman's name's Allison Victoria. That's not her real name, and I've watched a lot of her shows. I love the way she decorates. I love the way she brings something old in with the new. I've really enjoyed it, but that is Windy City Rehab but it is all good. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you have any favorites of you, that you've liked this month, just share them below, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. And I will, um, and this is, so when they, in the color, well, I've ordered several, I don't know. You can see my window. I'm just going to let...